Hello everybody, welcome to another episode. Uh, today on this tech review slash 3D printing uh, stuff, uh, I'll be opening and building the Ender 3 version 2. So, I'm very excited for this, so let's get into it. Printing is still a very new technology. Um, not many people have it, and not many people know about it. But this thing, the 3D printers, have a really big future on the market. For example, manufacturing toys, uh, in construction, and in and and in medicine. It's very useful. And for us home users, we can make uh, upgrades, toys, other designs. Yeah, this has a very promising future. There are many types of 3D printers, but the ones that I'll focus on is resin-based and PLA-based. The 3D printer I bought uh, supports PLA, and there are many other 3D printers that support resin. Uh, this one is great for a beginner. This material is made out of polylactic acid, and the resin one is made is more liquid based. It has a better uh, printing quality. But for a beginner, I think a PLA based 3D printer is is the best. And also worth mentioning that PLA is made out of a vegetable based plastic. That means it's safe for the user, safe for the environment, and it's biodegradable. And through my research uh, and. The Ender 3 V2 is the best for beginners like me who are just getting into 3D printing. And now we're going to open the 3D printer's box. We can see the inside. So, let's open it. Ooh, I can see a lot of foam. And here we go. Now I have opened the box and let us see the treasures. And now let's remove this foam. It's it's on there. Okay. Uh, yes, going to see the treasures. Hey, you've got the base plate. You've got a bunch of instructions from Creality. Yay! And here we have all of the treasures inside. Now I have everything out of the box. Uh, this looks very complicated. I don't know if I'm going to fix it properly, but uh, yeah, anything to do for 3D printing. To any beginner that's building a 3D printer, do not tighten the screws until you're finished with your 3D printer. Then you can make it balanced. And now let's build. And now since we've got everything out, I'm going to start looking through the manual and see what to do. So first thing, I want to remove all the tools so I can fix it. Okay, make sure so you don't scratch any, break them. Okay, so let us see. Oh, you get all the screws and stuff like those in this box, in this, pla in this bag, as you can see. Now, where is it? So you need a Z-axis profile for the left. I think it's supposed to be this one. And, wait, what? You, you need a Z-axis for the right and the left. But which one is for the Z-axis? So you need two of these, the big ones, not the small ones. So you need two of these and you need to put them on here with some screws. And you need a hexagon socket, head spring and a Z-axis limit switch kit. So you need one of these screws, these long ones. Let me open them for you. Okay, you need one of these, I mean two of them, for the left side and for the right side also two. After fixing the middle pieces, we have the Z-axis switch that I've been looking for. It is in this bag, so let's open it. It's very small. So what you need to do is just loosen these up until 
as you can see you can put them through here make sure not to damage be, damage it because it does a lot of electrical work and then you just tighten it a little bit do it with your fingers and yeah here you have the first part of the instructions done and now you need the Z motor for to help go up and down with the vertical movement and now you need this pipe and you screw this on this side where the power supply is and as you can see there are two screw holes so now I fixed this as you can see this is the uh, z-axis motor which helps go up and down and ta-da you've got the screws with a bunch of oil but I'll keep it for now on okay so now what you need is the XE axis kit this one this big one and uh, you need an x-axis profile so we're going to need uh, this one which has three screws instead of two and we're going to have the z-axis motor and this one and the belt so now you can see i have this metal piece and the belt on here these two screws were really hard to put in but eventually i did now we need to put the heater right here as you can see and this one for the belt so after we put the nozzle heater uh, with the x-axis motor uh, we connected the belt through here and now we're going to have the x-axis belt tensioner so after putting uh, this thing the belt tensioner we now must put these wheels between these and put this and put this screw part up here so it can move for, for so it can move up and down so now after putting the x-axis we are going to need a gantry profile so it, so it can just not go well all the way up and fall off and we are going to need these two for the filament now for the final thing we have is the display and we are almost done and after that we're going to do the wiring so let's put the display now we have the 3D printer fully done. Uh, there was some challenge with assembling it, but with some help, um, I finished the 3D printer and it looks amazing. Now wait for me for the next episode so I can do my first 3D printing test and the uh, balancing. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you know whenever I make an episode. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Peace out. Stay safe.